Okay, this test is um, to show that the vector magnetic potential, commonly known as the A vector, is more fundamental than the magnetic B field, known as magnetic flux, in the sense that it is able to penetrate shielding with no reduction in its potential whereas the magnetic field is completely blocked so that there is a magnetic vector potential associated with the B field that created it yet the B field is not in the vicinity further that the A vector can provide a useful force on a charge and thus current in that loop and you see the loop going through three current transformers. You see the first one in the foreground with a piece of copper, uh, heavy copper, going through the center or the core of the current transformers in a loop. It's a short. And we have provided a activation via a phase adjustable control circuit that will be powered by a 12 volt automobile battery there and we'll monitor the output signals from another transformer either through a shield in the afterground there or unshielded with no pipe in the center. Those are iron pipes and the CT is a specially wound transformer. As you can see it's a donut and like most transformers the flux is contained in the iron which is inside the donut. So there's no flux able to escape the torus. With no magnetic flux, the only way to explain the transfer of energy from the transformer in the foreground into the copper and back out of one of the adjacent transformers is to utilize the mechanics of the A vector. So without further ado, I will pause, set up the test, and we will see that there is no loss in the signal between the transformer on the right in regards to the current going through its center compared to the transformer in the afterground there that has an iron pipe for insulation. I will remove that iron pipe during the test and we will see that there's no change in the amplitude at the transformer which means the iron pipe has no effect whatsoever on the A vector as it passes through from the current in the copper bus in from the copper bus up to the transformer itself which is fully uh, shielded insofar as the magnetic flux is concerned. We will uh, pause now. Okay, we have an oscilloscope set on the 0.5 volts per division for a signal strength of 3.2 volts relative to the signal on this transformer and that's being provided by the current loop which is being energized by this transformer in the foreground. Notice that the signal is able to couple through that pipe. So now I'm going to remove that pipe and as I remove the pipe
there is no change in the signal strength, still 3.2 volts. The pipe has absolutely no effect Next, I will simply move the leads from that transformer over to the other transformer, which has no pipe, and it will show the same thing. We will now pause. Okay, now we are going to move these test leads. We have 3.2 volts, again, at the secondary of the transformer in the afterground. And I'm going to simply remove these leads off this transformer and put them on the other transformer. Okay, now we move back to the oscilloscope. We see that there's still 3.2 volts. So these are identical transformers. <laughs> They're known as um, current transformers, instrumentation current transformers, made by the Dixon Company. And uh, in a little bit, I will try to pick up the label off of uh, the type of transformers. They're identical. So there's no difference in the way they're wound or the turns ratio. They are a 40 to 1 type transformer. Typically 200 amps through the center on a solid bus will register as 5 amps through a meter an ammeter if we tied it right across the secondary. We're hooked to the secondary, driving through the secondary, in through the primary, around the loop, and back out the secondaries. Now I'm using a current limiting resistor in series with the pulse width modulated motor controller. This is a DC motor controller running at 16.6 .6 kilohertz. And I'm able to adjust the pulse width by adjusting in this fashion. You can see the pulse width changing. So it's a handy device for driving this type of a test. 